Hey guys, what's up? Today's video we're going to look inside a box of AMT's Plymouth 71 Duster 340 in 25th scale. Hey guys, hope you guys are doing well. So today we're going to look at this guy, which is the 71, 1971 Plymouth Duster 340. Um, it includes pre letter tires, apparently. So this is AMT's 25th scale one. Um, I've looked online at this one. It does seem to build up pretty nicely from what people say. Um, so go around the box here, typical AMT. You get the engine, um, shows you a few little features. You get the um, bucket seats. Just the image again. Looking very nice in the yellow and black. And that's it, I've not opened it yet. On the back it always shows you kind of the parts trees. They most often or not do have engines on these kits. And this isn't badly priced at all. As I cut this open, I'll just take a quick peek at what it says. It says it's, I pay, well, $29.99 at Hobby Lobby is a retail price. You, as I always mentioned with these kits, you always get 40% off at Hobby Lobby. Just use your cell phone and get download the app. And there's, a, not, actually you don't need to download the app. Just go on the mobile website um, and there's a 40% coupon. So with a 40% coupon, it works out a $17.99, which is a really nice price for a kit, especially nowadays. Um, so taking the plastic off, and let's take a look inside. I don't really know anything about this car. I just know it kind of looked cool. <laughs> um, I don't know much too, much too too much about uh, American Muscle. So um, nice chrome parts. Here's your tires. We'll look at in a minute. Got some clear parts. Again, we'll look at in a minute. Body. Bags, sprues, decals, and the instructions. So here's the colors. So they actually do, AMT actually do a pretty good job at marking everything in colors. So here you can see all the you know, paint colors. Um, the first one's in England, in England, in English here. So you can see um, the various colors. Quite a lot of different colors going on. Uh, let's see how this thing opens. Up. There we go. Oh, it opens up like a map, so. Okay. So a big, okay, so we start with the engine block. We're going down. Let's try to follow, oh, sorry, that's part three. And then four, we go back up here, four and five. Working again on the engine parts. Six. Uh, okay, I guess we're working way across. Seven. Eight seats. Nine and back of the seats, ten wheels, twelve dashboard, and then we're going to the bottom. Exhaust. Then the fifteen suspension. Sixteen red and kind of all the parts together for the interior. And we're going to turn it over. Seventeen and glass work. Obviously, you don't, once you painted it all. Um, 18 going down, we add the the, um, the body to the chassis. Adding the spoilers, spoiler in the rear bumper. A couple more parts, detail parts in the engine, engine bay. Front bumper, lights, hood. And then decals, really nice stripes you get. So we'll just check it out in a minute. So we have the 340, to kind of give you a really good look at the car here too. So this is the, um, Serene right here. These kits you might want to, I don't normally do it nowadays, but these kits you might want to give it a quick bath and soapy water to get rid of any release agent before you start it. Um, and that's it, the Duster 340. Very quick, if you, again, as always, I don't always bore people by going through instructions. So if you want to check out further detail, just go ahead and um, pause the video. You can look back at it. So let's look at the decals first. So we have black and white stripes, depending on what color scheme you go with. Um, license plates, various ones. I'm guessing that's, if you goes on the um, the bonnet, that decal. Um, but yeah, nothing for the dashboard. Just like instrument, no instrument panels or anything. But yeah, there you go. So we'll 
start with the body. So let's take a look at this guy. So the body. Get the bottom separated. So here we go. So looking round doesn't look too bad. There's a little bit of flash around the edges. Sorry, I better help help of holding the camera shot, right? So it doesn't look nice shape of car. Nice good looking car. So going around here, it looks okay. I mean it's nice nicely molded. Um, again, just around the edges, especially around the bottom here. You just need to clean up all this stuff. This was made in oh wow, 2018, so it's pretty new. I spent see like 1970 or something on here, um, but yeah, that's not too bad at all. You know, that's the size. If you're not not used to um, 25th scale cars, and you know, that's a typical size. And here's the bottom. Inside, you're not going to see anything because it's all kind of really covered up with stuff. Um, here's the underneath. Lots of detail molded in. That's that guy. Um, tires. Back. It has good year on it. Yeah, cool. No problem there. Next up, the clear parts. No problem at all. Very clear. Again, as with my, my Rubicon, I just recently reviewed it. These bags are so kind of not transparent at all, so it makes the plastic clear parts look terrible, but they actually look okay. Um, they're quite nice, actually. Um, so, yep. Okay, chrome parts. There's the rims, very shiny. Um, often the case of these, once you cut them off, you're gonna damage this, so it probably needs to strip all this and repaint it anyway, unfortunately. The bumpers and the grill, a little too shiny, I think, for me. Even you got the um, shifter. Now, two bags of plastic. Couple of two or three screws in each. So, first one. So, back seats are molded in, which is never a favorite of mine, but it is what it is. So, the back door cards. Look pretty good. Exhaust, not really much to see there. Part of the um, frame. Steering wheel is really nice. I'm not sure you can see on the camera, but it's kind of padded, um, textured. Other little pipes and stuff. Okay, the hood. Some more arms and stuff, suspension arms. Seats, nice to detail. Front seats. There's like a different rims right here. If you want to go with that style, I think, well, actually, are there rims? Or? Not sure exactly what that is. Um, a little bit softly molded, some of this stuff on here. Um, no injection pin marks, no real problem. They're pretty good, hidden away. And last but not least, we have. Um, some of the smaller parts for the engine bay, which have the engine block itself. And 
lastly, the dashboard, which is pretty detailed. So there you go, pretty nice kit. I'm sorry, I went very a little quickly. I can see my camera flashing, the battery's about to die. So um, yeah, it looks quite a nice little kit. I mean, I think it's a good looking car. Um, again, for 16 bucks, whatever, you can't go wrong. Um, what I'm gonna do with this one is, I'm probably gonna build this, not as a factory fresh, but as a kind of a um, renovation project, like rest restoration, renovation kind of deal going on. So you know, some paint, some panels painted in primer, a little bit of rust here and there. Not not total scrapyard, just kind of in, you know, just in the middle, kind of in between um, showroom finish and um, you know junkyard, something in between there. So, so definitely some use and some weathering and stuff on this one. Um, yeah, so that's it. So this is again, this is the AMT's 25th scale Plymouth 71 Plymouth, and it's a Duster 340.